All right, guys, so we are going to open up these 51 major breach caches. We see level 60. I just did a bunch of portals up in Merkgard. We had a train of about 30 to 35 people running these. A lot of questions have been asked about whether or not these up your gear score watermark. I would say they do not. But if we actually take a look as well, you can see that luck does not affect these containers. So containers are not affected by luck. Keep that in mind. So there's no point putting all your luck gear on before you open these. And I want to say as well, you don't get Azoth for turning in these or you know finishing these corrupted portals in Merc Guard, which is kind of weird because i believe you get azoth for doing evan scale reaches and reek waters so just remember that right now we have all of those completed so i just got uh, done with Merc Guard, and uh, these are all major breaches not minor major so these are the five person ones like i said we were running a big zerg of about 20 25 so this took about probably three to four hours at least i want to start opening these though let's start with the first one some pretty good stuff. So the first one's going to be a bow. The bow kind of sucks, to be honest. Constitution focus. Uh, the musket's pretty bad. We did get five corrupted silver, which is always useful. Next up, we have corrupted fragments. Three corrupted silvers. A 583, which is pretty bad as well again. And a bad spear. So unfortunate with the gear right now. But uh, we are getting, you know, every single time fragments and silver and stuff that we do need. The musket, um, you know, it does have good decks, but really these are kind of trash. Both gears are bad yet again. Thankfully, we have so many to open. We have the Defiled Breastplate, the Cavalier. It's actually not too bad. And also you have Mining Luck, which 4.9% is actually fairly decent when it comes to Mining Luck. Heavy Chest as well, which is usually good. Round Shields are fairly useless, so we're going to have to ignore those. We continue on, though. We see uh, this one didn't do too much for us. We did get Strike Damage, more Strike Damage. Um, but like I said, this one wasn't too great. Let's go on to the next one. 582 looks like on these. Um, just more gear that's really not too special. Hoping for something good. Hoping for maybe even a higher fragment here as well. A kite shield, which is not great. Um, just a regular common defiled longsword. Another just rough item there to get. We got a 584 over here. Another strength deck. Seems like we're getting a lot of strength decks, to be honest. We have the defiled round shield yet again, which continues to be a very useless drop for us we have corrupted fragments and corrupted silver defiled helm of the spell sword which is a 588 which is awesome however the gear actually is terrible itself we have a 587 24 strength there um we did get an epic rapier here so this is awesome actually um very very cool rapier as well by the way i think this can be up to 600 gear score i don't know that for sure but this definitely looks close to a rapier i saw in the past uh, but 27 decks either way, very, very solid. And then the reducing cooldowns active by 1.7% after being hit five times is okay. But you have Chain Void with a Void Gem. So this could be a fairly decent rapier, um, but it is bind on pickup. And I already have the Rend rapier that's really, 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 really solid from the Legendary Quest. So unfortunately, probably not going to be used, but a very cool rapier and a very solid one if I could sell it. Nothing too crazy on the other pieces. We're going to continue forward. So, again, nothing too crazy. The longsword going to be pretty useless. We're going to sell that. Uh, or not even sell it. Probably scrap it. But another great axe tier 5 purple. Very, very exciting until you see the constitution focus. Not, not a very solid drop there. Thankfully, though, we have 38 more to look through. Another drop with a tier 5 purple. Going to be a musket 27 decks. Not too bad, but you generate more health. Or, sorry, more threat. Going to be kind of a useless perk. An unfortunate one for sure. Going to skip past that. Nothing on this one. We have a tower shield and a helm. Both going to be fairly useless. Um, again, nothing good there. Defiled cloth. So these look pretty solid, actually. They have luck on them as well. And 14 con, 9 intelligence. These could sell for some decent money for sure if I don't wear them myself. I'll have to check up on that at the end of this. We continue forward. 591, by the way, the top of the gear score soft cap before doing dungeons. We are definitely there with the shoes. So it's great to see those come in. We have 591s, um, the strength, constitution, light, chest wear as well. As we continue forward, a lot of greens. The greens are typically not going to be useful. Uh, mining luck is not too bad with greens. It's not a big deal. More 591s. Still nothing too crazy, though, guys. We're not getting anything spectacular, which is kind of unfortunate. Draw, uh, so Keen, we got a crit chance resource, which is actually fairly good. That's going to be worth some money, definitely with a lot more people coming up to get uh, more jewelry crafting, a little higher levels. Dex and Constitution, not bad. Uh, great. Ooh, this is actually really, really solid. This is a filed great axe of the soldier. 
27 strength, which is also has a socket for a gem and light and heavy attacks dealing more damage. So this is actually a really, really good great axe um, for a lot of people. I'm sure that this one is going to be something they would want to see or get. Um, I want to continue on, though. Not even going to really take a look at those. Nothing great there. Hey, you know what's good about this? We did get a rare corrupted shard, which is pretty nice. Defiled, uh, defiled tower shield, pretty awful. Um, we also have the leather boots, purple leather boots, 588, really, really solid until you look at these stats, dexterity focus, unfortunately. Uh, more boots that are 591. It's not even showing me what they are. Okay, 24 intel, actually pretty solid if you uh, just want intel boots, which I actually might want those. Uh, we have a fire staff here, uh, fire staff of the scholar, 27 intel with a socket and more damage to Angry Earth, which is going to be a really, really solid one that could get you started when it comes down to uh, Garden of Genesis. I think this is going to be a great start for a lot of people. We have Moonless Knight over here, which is a fairly solid... Moonless Knight is actually a fairly solid sword. Uh, 567, it's bind on pickup. Or five, yeah, 567, bind on pickup. Very, very solid, actually. Continuing on, we see some more purples popping up. A lot more purples popping up. I wonder if they saved the best for last for us here. Strength and intelligence, though, going to be useless together. Uh, intelligence focus, not a great combo there on the life staff, but it does have mostly focus at least. Maybe if you're trying a focus, or sorry, a life staff, fire staff build, you could always try something like that. Continuing on, we have a round shield, which unfortunately is pretty useless. Continuing on a little bit farther. Cloth hat, dexterity focus. Musket uh, is a common, so nothing there. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Whoa, we got six things, guys. I've never seen a six things drop in, in one go. So that's kind of cool to see. We have a pretty useless ice gauntlet. Uh, pretty good shoes, though. Intelligence constitution shoes. And then we have a light footwear, which fireproof breach wath, uh, watcher cloth boots of the brigand. So this is going to be a special drop. And it's actually a really, 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 really good drop, in my opinion. Weakness, disease, exhaust, ran, expires 4.8% faster. That's actually a good drop. We're going to we're gonna take a look at that one a little bit more into detail in the inventory as well. 587. This is actually a really good strength piece right here. Medium chest wear if you're going for more of a lightweight or medium build with just full strength to just take people out quickly. Very, very solid as well. Continuing on, we can see that there is more kind of just garbage, um, you know, greens. But they have a lot of strength, a lot of dexterity. Nothing there. We got a bow over here on this side. Nothing too crazy there. Defiled musket. Nothing there again. Rapier of the Battle Mage, which sounds so cool, but it is so bad. Unfortunately, so, so bad with, uh, you know, it does have intel. Um, could be very, maybe a very, very cheap starter rapier for some people. If they're trying to run an intel build. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. Got us another six one. So we got a Spear of the Cavalier. Uh, looks like it's a beast spear, really, which is kind of useless right now. But altogether, it's actually pretty good. Strength and dex with a 560 gear score. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. You can actually see the epic over here as well. This is actually a really, really good epic glove. Um, very, very good for strength users for sure. And that was one of the... This is the, probably the worst one we've had so far. Holy cow, that's terrible. Whoa! Four purples in one go, guys. Four purples in one go. Dex focus, though, going to be useless. Strength, actually not too bad. All strength, 562. Just going to have not the greatest of perks. Dark of Night, another great, great, um, really great axe there. That's a very, very solid great axe bind on pickup. Uh, and then strength dex over here on this side of things. And it's 587, heavy glove. Not too bad, but four purples on that roll. So not a bad roll at all. Continuing farther on. Nothing too crazy there. We only have a couple more to open. Three drops there. We have when they came, uh, when they come yet again dropping. 27 dexterity. I think this is one, like I said, that can turn into a legendary, I believe. But right now we just don't have the gear score for it. Nothing too crazy here. Ooh, that's a good fireproof bre uh, breach watcher helm of the druid. Just if it had better perks, you know, if it had better perks, that would have been so much better. Um, very, very solid though, overall. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Nothing great there. 
Yeah, nothing great there. Again, we have one more to open after this one. Hopefully for a very, very big drop. Come on, give me a couple purples. No purples, actually one of the worst drops we've had there on the last one. But guys, overall, we have a lot of great gear in here. Uh, a lot of great gear to look through. That spear's pretty good. We had the rapiers, the double rapiers when they come, which, by the way, both look pretty sweet, but unfortunately not too great yet. This is going to be my biggest piece that I actually got from this, being one of the strongest for sure is a 591 heavy helm. Uh, and it's buy not equipped, by the way. This is sellable. So I'm curious on what this will sell for. I might try to sell some of this stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'll keep, but there's definitely a lot of bind on pickups that I need to hold on to for sure. Um, luckily, I do have. <laughs> luckily, I do have tier five bags to hold all this junk. Um, but yeah, I didn't any get really any jewels from this as well. I thought maybe there's some jewels that I could get, and I didn't get any very high level tuning orbs. So I was hoping for more of those. Um, but yeah, absolutely crazy. Oh, did I open one of my vials? I think I opened one of my vials, as my stream saying. If you guys didn't know, by the way, we stream on twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye. Make sure to check that out. Uh, so we did this opening live, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys what you could get from 51 Corrupted Portals, 65 Portals, that is. A lot of great gear in there. Definitely, if you guys have high enough gear score, um, you can take a look at it. We got a lot of 591 stuff. Uh, I think if we go through the gear, you know, this is where you're going to see some of that 591. If we actually can sort, you can sort, by the way, if you didn't know, by gear score. So... Weapons wise, we have a 577. Looks like that might be our highest musket for sure. Um, so we're getting up there in the gear score when it comes to weapons. 591s, though, we have a, quite a bit of them. Looks like the head, we have 591. Shoes, we have 591. We have everything at 591. We're at the soft cap when it comes to that. So we need to do some dungeons for sure today. That's going to be the main focus. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn notifications on. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next video.